Hello everybody, my name's Darren and welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge. In today's episode you're going to see some of this, oh this is difficult, and more of that, what the distance is, and even more of that, which I think are about there, or there or thereabouts. But before all that, okay, it is New Year's Day 2023, and yes, I'm up early, I'm in the garage, and I'm working on the project. Crazy, I know, um, especially since I started today at about 10 o'clock and then realized I only have, where are they? Uh, where are they? There. I only have two wall plugs left. <laughs> so that's not going to work, is it? So I had to um, hit the phones on New Year's Day morning because obviously there's no shops open anywhere. And I had to start sending messages to friends to ask if anybody had any wall plugs. Um, fortunately, uh, we went to a friend's house last night for the New Year's Eve celebrations. and We'd left our car there for obvious reasons. So I had to walk back there to um, uh, go, and, go and get the car. And that's uh, Sonny. And uh, so Sonny's given me lots of red um, wall plugs which I'm going to be able to use thank you very much I also went to Daniel's house and he's given me some slightly larger alligators now these things are good for 619 kilograms I don't believe that I don't believe that 619 kilograms pulling force on one of those let's find out shall we one Victron um, multi plus two inverter weighs about 25 kilos. I'm actually quite nervous lifting it up. It's going to be so heavy. My back's not brilliant. Um, so we're really going to put those to the test. So that's where we are. The plan today is to install three Victron multi plus two 5k inverters. One, two, three. We've also got one. Uh, Victron MPPT Smart RS solar charger controller which is going to go here and we've also got that's the 200 amp version and we've also got a 100 amp version again MPPT RS smart solar which is going to go here that gives us five strings of solar in total 13.5 kilowatts with uh, plenty of capacity left if I want to install solar panels elsewhere, which I've got an idea about doing. Underneath here, we're gonna put the Lynx distribution bus bars. We're gonna put the shunt, and we're gonna put the Servo GX, which is the brains, and we're gonna put the touch screen. Not sure exactly how that's gonna lay out. I'll figure that out later on when we've drilled some holes and measured things. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the video, there should be some blue boxes hanging on the wall. Now I'm not going to start with any wiring today. That's that's another 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 project, another job for another day, um, because I've actually just found that this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I first thought. The Victron equipment uh, are different sizes. The inverters are the same size, obviously, so it's quite easy to to measure where to drill the holes um, but the, the solar chargers are different sizes they're different heights when I downloaded the uh, let's see if, yeah when I downloaded the dimensions for everything unfortunately the way in which Victron are in are displaying I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this they're displaying the dimensions there's no consistent way of measuring from the center hole to the bottom. Now I want all my inverters and chargers, I want them all to be six centimeters above the cable tray so that I've got enough space for the radius angle of my 70 millimeter square DC cabling. Now that's actually quite complicated because whereas with the MPPT smart uh, uh, chargers, you can calculate, oh, this is difficult. You can calculate using these dimensions here, uh, this dimension here, and this dimension here. You can calculate the distance from the center hole to the bottom. 
for both charge controllers. But unfortunately, have a look at this. For the Multi Plus 2, they've neglected to give you this dimension here. So you can't, you can't actually calculate using the dimension drawings what the distance is from the center hall to the bottom of here. Nice one, Victron. <laughs> so you might have noticed on my last video, I have actually had to take everything out of the boxes and to, and to measure as close as I possibly can from the center hall. Actually, I've got the bracket here. Here's one of the, here's one of the brackets. They all come like this. Now I can't just put them all at the same height because the Multi Plus 2s are much longer. One of the charge controllers is very wide, but not as high. And another one is a little bit higher, but not as wide. So you've actually got to, you've got to draw, you've got to make yourself a little bit of a diagram. This morning I've been doing, check this out, trying to calculate everything this way around. Well, you can see through that, sorry about that. Uh, I've also done a diagram here. I mean, this is a lot of work. This is all because there's no template included in the box. Please, Victron, give us a template that we can stick on the wall. Um, or give us on the technical drawings, give us the distance from the center hall to the bottom so that we can install on the wall all in the same uh, height, all of the different types of equipment. So what should have been just drilling a few holes has actually turned into a bit of a nightmare. So my plan is, in the absence of a template, do you know what I mean? You sometimes when you have got to hang something on the wall, they sometimes give you a piece of paper that you can sell a tape or tape onto the wall, which shows you where the drill holes are. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build or I'm going to cut out some um, templates for the Multi Plus 2s. Um, for the um, RS 200s and the RS 100s. So I've got, I'm not bothered about the Lynx distribution, that's easy. They're, they're smaller devices um, and it's easy to see whether they're uh, lined up or not. But the larger boxes which are going to go above the cable tray, I just want them to be reasonably level, that's all. So I'm going to make my own templates. I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to stick them on the wall and then I can check whether or not all my measurements which I think are about there are there or thereabouts. Come on, let's find out. So I'm not really sure how to do this, but my idea is literally just to draw onto this. This paper is used when you're painting your walls. Uh, you put it on the floor to protect your flooring. Smart. I'm going to copy the external dimensions of the Multi Plus 2, the, uh, the RS200 and the RS100 and I'm going to make a cutout of each of the devices. So this is where we got first, Multi Plus 2. So it's 320 wide, just going to check these measurements before I actually cut it out. 320, 320, so it's the correct width and it's 564.9 millimeters. Well, we can call that 565, can't we? Five, six. Ooh, what's a little short, but only a couple of millimeters short. That should be all right. Five, six, five. yeah, that's fine. Right, okay. There. So that should be, roughly, I forgot the camera's down here, isn't it? <laughs> that should be roughly a Multi Plus 2. So I'll use the dimensions from here to transfer where the holes of the brackets should be. And then I'll stick it on the wall. Mind you, we've got three of these to make. Being back at school. Oh, 
Okay, it's day two now. Oh, first day back at work was crazy. And it's 10 o'clock at night, so I don't have time to drill any holes, but I do have time to use some sticky tape. <laughs> That's not gonna disturb the neighbors, is it? Um, I've drawn the, uh, the drill holes on all of the templates and I've laid them out here, which has given me an opportunity to measure ish the gap between each of the devices. And I've actually found that my seven centimeters was a little optimistic. I'm now down to six and a half, which is a lot tighter than I would have wanted. I'm talking about the gap between the devices, but all the venting is from the bottom up and this is a very cold room. There is no heating in this room at all. So I think it should be absolutely fine. Uh, right, there's no graceful way of doing this. I'm not gonna get any style points when I do this. Let's give this a go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That's the, uh, the RS100, the small one. Just need to go this way now. I have to take down my signs. What am I gonna do with these? The, these have been in pretty much every single video I've ever made. I don't know where to put them now. Oh well. <laughs> That's how long. <laughs> That's how long this has been standing. I'll find somewhere else. Don't you worry. I'll find somewhere else. Wow. This one as well, look. The old faithful. Woohoo! I guess I can now take out the wall plugs. The awful, ugly wall plugs which have been in the shot forever. They can come out now. What's the betting this is going to be a nightmare? Ah! Oh. Wrong! Again! Uh, what about this one? Dead easy! When is it ever easy to take out a wall plug? Okay, next one. This is the RS200 going up now. Now, I'm not too worried about these being level and straight because I'm only actually measuring from the first pilot drill hole to the next drill hole. So the only measurements I'm interested in are the distance uh, from the right hand side and the distance from the top of the cable tray up to the drill hole. So if, if the template is slightly skewed, it doesn't matter. I'm only interested in that hole there. Right, let's get the Multi Plus 2s up. Do you keep your screws or throw them away when you pull them out of the wall? If they're still in good condition, do you keep them? Do you have like a box with a random set of screws and nuts and bolts in? Or do you chuck them away? I keep mine. I never use them again, but I do keep them. I feel like I'm going up in the world. All this because Victron didn't give us a template. Oh. What does that look like? Is it straight? Are the gaps all the same? Is it equidistant? Oh, that's a good word. Here I go, I'm going to break my neck now. Let's have a look then. 
Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. My first insight into what it's going to look like. Move them out of the way. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I'm going behind the camera now. That works, doesn't it? That works. Is it me or is this one a little, a little wide? Let's have a look. No, that's correct. That's the same. Slight, slightly short. Maybe it's because it's. Oh no, it's just because that one, that one's rotated this way slightly. It's kicked in slightly. I'm happy with that. We're six centimeters above the cable tray. Is that too much? That might be too much. Six centimeters. That might be too much. Nah, it's not. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Right. That took far too long. That, I think, is it. Now, as long as I've measured the distance from here to where the hole is, and it's, this measurement is correct, then I believe each one of these holes are now in the right position. Now, in order to <laughs> in order to get this, I had to take each multi plus two out of the well, one of each model out of the box. So I took one multi plus two. It's pretty bright. There, yeah. I took one multi plus two out of the box, and then I installed. I put it on its front, and then I installed the little bracket so that it was um, it was in, in situ. And whilst the bracket was in situ, so it was like. It was hanging off the wall. I then measured from the centre hole down to here. So you can imagine this is lying on its front, and then I clipped the bracket in that it hangs on, and then I measured from there to there. And I've got six centimetres from there to there. And I'll do the same with the uh, Lynx distributors and the shunt, six centimetres from there to there. So they will be here. <sighs> Shame I can't drill the holes because it's half ten at night now. Never mind. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Come on dog, bedtime. <laughs>